So there's three basic forms of movement that we can accomplish as a human being. We can perform pure translational or linear movement, which means that all points of our body go through the same distance in the same amount of time and basically move in a straight line. We can also perform pure rotational or angular movement, and that's where all points on our body move through the same angle in the same amount of time, but not necessarily the same distance. And then we can have general motion where both of those things are happening at the same time. We're having linear motion and angular motion all occurring at the same time. Most human motions would fall into the category of general motion, and the golf swing is no exception. The golf swing has some linear motions happening where we're translating pieces of our body or segments of our body in different ways. So one way that we do that is we generally have a little bit of translation of our pelvis towards the target at the start of the downswing. And then we also have concurrently some rotational motions happening. And those are the angular or rotational motions that happen in the golf swing. And then when both of those are happening together, the golf swing would be considered a general motion. And it's really important that we understand that both of those things need to happen in every single golf swing. Some to different levels, but both of those are needing to happen and how we create those motions from the ground is going to be really important.